the stuffed cabbage. To make them a little lighter, I am using ground turkey and cauliflower rice. And that's gonna go into a nice hot pan. So we're just gonna cook the cauliflower rice just through. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because it is gonna go in the oven stuffed into the cabbage. So get that rice into the heated pan. Got a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Let's give that a nice big stir so that all of the oil can coat the cauliflower rice. While the rice gets a little heat on it and toasts up, let's start prepping our cabbage. So the first thing you wanna do is this big core in here we need to get rid of. And you're trying to make like a, a cone shape. Cone, where did that come from? That's my Delaware roots coming out, cone. And this will get it out much easier. Oh, look at that, it's coming out. There you go. See that? Comes right out. So I've got some boiling water for the cabbage. We want to flavor the water, just like we would with pasta, with plenty of salt. We're not going to cook the cabbage all the way through. We just want to tenderize it, just soften it up enough so that the leaves separate. So grab some tongs and a spatula, and there it goes. It comes right off. Get it on to a sheet pan with some paper towels, and then you just continue to do that. We're just going to grab about 12. They kind of tell you when they're ready to go. Let's check on the cauliflower rice, make sure it's not burning. Ooh, it's beautiful, actually. Getting a little brown on it. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now we're gonna let the cauliflower rice cool. Now let's get the sauce ready. We got some pureed tomatoes. And to this, we're gonna add some onion powder. This turns into a beautiful tomato sauce. And then we're gonna get just a quarter cup of water in there to really thin out the sauce. And then we're gonna get a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Then you're gonna grab two garlic cloves and let's grate those right into your sauce. A little bit of salt and let's mix that up. Get a quick whisk. All right, our sauce is ready to go. Our cabbage leaves, our cauliflower rice is prepped and ready to go. We have one more thing, let's make the filling. So we're gonna put this back here. We're gonna start by chopping up a whole onion. All right, let's start building our filling. This is what gets stuffed in the cabbage, and it's full of flavor. So we start with our diced onion, and to the onion, some Italian seasoning, of course. This is, I can't do anything without Italian seasoning. So it's a little bit of my mom, a little bit of my dad in the stuffing. About a teaspoon in there. And let's get some fresh herbs in here too. Got some parsley. We'll reserve just a tablespoon to garnish, about that much, and the rest goes in here. I also want to put some fresh basil, about two tablespoons. Now, with basil, you do want to remove the leaves from the stem. It's green. It's Irish. Irish. I can't say Irish without saying Irish. I have the worst Irish accent, so I'm not even going to try. Even though I worked with Roma Downey for two years, I just never got that accent down. Okay, we're just going to grate two cloves of garlic into the filling. A little salt and pepper. Now the cauliflower rice is cool, so that can go in. Love how it got a little browned in places. That's a lot of flavor right there. One 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained. All right, let's get the turkey. So this is a pound of turkey. I like dark meat. It's got a little bit more flavor in it. That just goes right in. And one last thing, we need to bind it all together. So let's get an egg. And I like to break the egg up before I put it in the mixture. Break up the yolk. And then pour that right in. Let's get that mixed up. All right, our stuffing is gorgeous. It's done. So let's just set up our station. We've got all of our leaves over here. So you just want everything right in front of you, ready to go. Let's get our baking dish up here. Before we put the cabbage leaves in, we just wanna get half of this tomato sauce on the bottom of our baking dish. And then the other half is gonna go on top of our rolled up stuffed cabbage. And here we have a little third of a cup and that's a really good amount of filling to put in to your cabbage rolls. But before we can start rolling, you just wanna take the tough stem out so that we'll roll these guys up a lot easier. Now what you wanna do is get the really tender part in front of you, grab your stuffing, and put that right in there. So you're gonna put about a third of a cup of filling in each roll, then you just pull this over and pull that over and start to roll. And then you really wanna put the seam on the bottom so it stays together and it goes right in. There you go. Nestled in that beautiful tomato sauce you just made. All right, I'm just gonna finish up rolling up the rest of these. 
Last one. So the sauce just goes right on top. I'm so excited for these. We're gonna cover that up. The oven's preheated to 350 degrees. This is gonna spend about 55 minutes in the oven. They look beautiful, smell amazing. Let's get a little bit of the parsley that we chopped up earlier. Now, stuffed cabbage. Oh, it smells just like my mom's. These stuffed cabbage rolls. Doesn't that look beautiful? That looks like a perfect bite. Mm, it tastes so decadent. And it really reminds me of my mama. 